Good morning, people watching the 65 Lisa Voice here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. And that's why we're saved. That's the gospel. Um, his grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, <clears throat> but have eternal life. Um, I had to wake up this morning and start fighting in the spirit because something, and I don't know whether anybody else is feeling this, but something is trying to grab a hold I can't explain it, but there is something that is trying to grasp. And I had to wake up and start battling over my children, over my house, over my ministry, over everything. And <clears throat> it's wearing me down. It's trying to, but it won't succeed. Whatever it is. This is why you have to get up in the morning or whenever and put on the whole armor of God. The entire armor of God. You have to pray over yourself, your family, because the enemy is out there and he knows his time. His time is coming. But yet, his time is limited. So, I'm just letting you know. There is a force, and what that force don't like is when you praise and when you talk about the blood. Hallelujah is the, form, the highest form of praise. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit indwells in believers. You're not the same as you used to be. You don't want to do what you used to do. Now, let me explain something. We go through trials and tribulations, whether you're coming out of a gay relationship and accept Christ as Savior, or whether you're coming out of fornication, it don't matter. We all will have struggles in that, but we have changed. We don't identify ourselves as the way the world identifies you. This is why we don't kiss the world. We dwell with Christ, period. That's, that's the truth. We don't identify ourselves. We are now a child of the Most High God. We used to be this. We used to be that. But now we're a child of the Most High God when we accept Christ as Savior. That's what it's all about. I got to give you this article here, and this is... Off of End Times Headlines. It came out yesterday, <clears throat> but it came out late. And I've been having subscribers uh, tell me about it. Excuse me, it says prominent rabbis are asking Netanyahu to allow the Passover sacrifice on Temple Mount. This is serious. I don't know whether he's going to do it or not, <clears throat> but this is what it's saying. A group of a prominent rabbi sent a letter to Prime Minister Netanyahu requesting that a Passover offering be allowed on the Temple Mount. To the esteem of Benjamin Netanyahu, we bless you that you should give great success in the upcoming elections. May it be the will of the Lord of all whose holy presence dwell in Zion and whose chosen city is Jerusalem. <clears throat> excuse me, that you should continue to lead the state of Israel and the people of Israel in the coming years for good. The har uh, harassment of you personally and the people of Israel in general by inner, internal and external parties such as the criminal court in the uh, Hague requires the that harassment of all types to be put in its place. Now let me explain something to you. This is why the rapture has to happen so 
This is a time of Jacob's trouble, the time for the Jews. The church has to be out of the way. All this stuff is coming down the pike. Now we got that. I'm going to link this article in the description box. And guess what else we have? Former Senator Harry Reid. Now I'm going to tell you how all this ties to the tribulation that's coming. Former U.S. Senator Harry Reid discusses UFOs and aliens threats. These are threats that they're talking about, and a former senator is involved in this now. And I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. Folks, they're going to use the alien, the alien thing, as an excuse as to what happened to the church when the church disappears. This is coming to pass more than ever. I'm seeing more and more, and I had mentioned, I, I hit on this a few days ago, I'm seeing more and more articles on aliens than ever. Then I'm seeing this thing with Israel, and they want to do a sacrifice. This world don't belong to the church. This world does not belong to the church, and it's time for the church to stop kissing the world and accepting <clears throat> these little things that the world does. Because we don't identify with the world. We identify with Christ. Everything that's happening is being set up for the tribulation. Everything that is happening is being set up for the tribulation period right now. Including what's happening over in Israel with the Temple Mount or with the sacrifices that they want to do and this alien thing. Let me tell you what else is happening. I'm bringing all these on because it's all being set up. And that's a good thing because it shows us that we're on the cusp of getting out of here. <clears throat> Mysterious shaking continues to rattle San Diego. They have no idea what it is. And it says the United Geological Survey reported no seismic activity in the area, but around 4.55 p.m. I don't know what day. Uh, this came out yesterday. So around 4.55 p.m., Oh, on February 16th, people from at least as far as north in Rancho Bern uh, Bernan uh, Ber Bernardo, as far as um, Chula Vista, and as far east as El Cajun, reported feeling a shaking. There was no earthquakes in that area. I keep saying that God is trying to get your attention no matter what. And this is what he's doing. This is a warning <clears throat> to everybody. Excuse me. This is a warning. And it's fair. It's fair. He's giving you a warning before all hell breaks loose on this earth. And I had said it in the past days. He's giving us a warning. Now, I don't know how long that warning is going to last. But I know that the church is on its way out. I don't know when. I'm not setting a date. But something is happening. And all this stuff that's going on, like I said yesterday, is not a coincidence under no circumstances. I will be back later. Um, and I want to... I'm, I'm going to put a video up on Rumble. Um... I can't put it up here, so I'm going to put another video up on Rumble later on, but I will be back later, and I will let you know where it is. Thank you.